How do you describe something that is very tasty? Do you say very tasty or do you say very very tasty or do you say delicious? And if you say very tasty, I am sure that it doesn't convey your emotion. It doesn't convey your feeling. If you are preparing for GRE or TOEFL, I am sure that you can't afford to use word very number of times. Hello friends, I am your friend Sumit. Welcome to your channel IIE Education. And today I will deliver a complete lecture on how to stop using very in your day to day conversation. Friends, I will teach you number of advanced vocabulary words that you can use instead of very. First of all, very beautiful. Words that you can use instead of very beautiful are aesthetic, comely, sublime and gorgeous. For beautiful girls, you can use word comely and you can also use word gorgeous. Gorgeous is a very common word. Sublime means something very beautiful or something heavenly. Aesthetic means related to beauty or something very beautiful. And very happy. Words that you can use instead of saying very happy are elated, exhilarated and euphoric. Friends, after winning a quiz competition, you become elated or you become exhilarated. Friends, after getting a good GRE score, definitely you will be elated or you will be exhilarated. Friends, we became euphoric when we won 6 Olympic medals. Or when we won 6 Olympic medals, there was a state of euphoria in our country. Very sad words that can be used instead of very sad are depressed, melancholic, dolorous, Saturnine, bereaved and mournful. For example, dolorous ballads of death and regret. She becomes quite melancholy when she reflects on all the lost opportunities of her life. Bereaved means sad because a family member or a friend has died. Saturnine silence inside his house. Now very confused. Words that can be used instead of very confused are bemuse, baffle, befuddle and flummox. Sometimes when we go to shopping, we become very confused. We become too confused. I went to shopping. I was flummoxed after watching exotic range of cosmetics. I didn't buy anything and I came back home. Words that can be used instead of very confused are bemuse, baffle, be fuddle and flummox. I was flummoxed after watching exotic range of cosmetics. Very big. Words that can be used instead of very big are gigantic, colossal, mammoth and titanic. Gigantic. Opposition says demonetization has been a gigantic failure. They put up a titanic struggle. Dinosaur was a mammoth animal. We have built a colossal statue of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Iron Man of India, colossal statue. Very strange, words that can be used instead of very strange are bizarre and outlandish. Bizarre, she wore a bizarre outfit. Outlandish, leader of opposition Rahul Gandhi passes most outlandish statements. He calls our Prime Minister a chore. He passes most outlandish statements. Very boring. Words that can be used instead of very boring are banal, vapid and insipid. Too banal argument or too boring argument. The soup was rather insipid. Vapid food or song with vapid lyrics. Very hungry. Words that can be used instead of very hungry are voracious, gluttonous and ravenous. If you are gluttonous, then you can finish all the food in a party. If you are ravenous, if you go to a restaurant and if you say, I need food immediately, I am ravenous, then waiter, he will immediately serve food to you. If you are voracious, then very easily you can finish all you can eat buffet. Very careful. Words that can be used instead of very careful are meticulous and punctilious. A punctilious host even cares about the position of a fork on her perfectly set dinner table. Our teacher is meticulous about grammatical mistakes. 
वेरी टायर्ड वर्ड डेट कैन बी यूज इंस्टेड ऑफ वेरी टायर्ड इज एग्जॉस्टेड आई वॉज एग्जॉस्टेड आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग ट्रिप very poor words that can be used instead of very poor are destitute impecunious penurious indigent penniless and impoverished if you are destitute you may be living at footpath you are homeless and jobless her husband divorced her by saying talaq 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 and left her destitute she was unemployed and penniless he is too impecunious he can't afford to have a square meal he was indigent the court appointed a lawyer to defend him very rich words that can be used instead of very rich are opulent prosperous and wealthy opulence can be found in our country with unthinkable poverty very thirsty words that can be used instead of very thirsty are parched and desiccated If you run marathon in a desert then definitely after completing marathon you will be desiccated you will be too thirsty words that can be used instead of very thirsty are parched and desiccated very worried word that can be used instead of very worried is anxious it's a statement from a story elderly people have their own anxiety very nervous words that can be used instead of very nervous are timid and timorous and tremulous we often say to our ielts students don't be too nervous or don't be timid just start speaking english i am repeating once again words that can be used instead of very nervous are timid and timorous and tremulous she opened the letter with tremulous hands she gave me a timorous smile very dirty word that can be used instead of very dirty is squalid if you have a squalid house then definitely foreigners will not come into your house very hot words that can be used instead of very hot are scolding and scolding scolding correct pronunciation is scolding and correct spelling is s c a l d i n g scolding water or scolding heat or a scolding bowl of soup scorching scorching heat of summer scolding is especially used for liquids for example scolding water can damage your skin very small words that can be used instead of very small are tiny and minuscule box is tiny gift is not going to fit into it at the time of presidential elections number of journalists said you are to mind school before nda you do not have numbers you are not going to win the presidential election you are to mind school means you are too small very bad words that can be used instead of very bad are abhorrent execrable and abominable abhorrent violence in films living condition in slums are execrable it was an abominable crime I am repeating once again words that can be used instead of very bad are abhorrent execrable and abominable very hard working words that can be used instead of very hard working are assiduous diligent and industrious he has been working assiduously on his project he has been diligent in pursuit of a degree in mathematics she is an industrious worker words that can be used instead of very hard working are assiduous diligent and industrious very perfect words that can be used instead of very perfect are impeccable and immaculate for example impeccable attendance record in parliament she has an immaculate record of service very slow words that can be used instead of very slow are sluggish lagard and dilatory if you are doing something very slowly you are doing something sluggishly cricket match picked up after a sluggish start dilatory characterized by delay lagard means tending to lag behind now friends we have completed our video on how to stop using very in your day to day conversation now i have a small exercise for you friends i will read a piece written by a worker and you have to rewrite the piece 
by using advanced vocabulary words. Now I will read the piece. My name is Tohen. I live in a very poor part of New York. I have to work long hours, so I am usually very tired. My home has a very good view of the city. But my apartment is often very cold in winter and very hot in summer. I work hard, so one day I will be very rich. Now friends, you have to rewrite the piece by using advanced vocabulary words that we have learnt in this video. You can pause this video and you can try yourself now. I am sure that you all have written. Correct answer is, my name is Tohen. I live in penurious part of New York. I have to work assiduously, so I am usually exhausted. My home has a sublime view of the city, but my apartment is often freezing in winter and scorching in summer. I work diligently, so one day I will be opulent. Now friends, we have completed our video on how to stop using very in your day-to-day -day conversation. I will meet you in my next video. Till then, take care and speak English. And do not forget to subscribe our channel so that you will be notified whenever we upload another interesting video.